Aloha and welcome back to High Now Daily. We're here in the kitchen with Chef Keone Chang from Foodland. Uh, earlier we were talking about the Foodland 5 and this great recipe ahead of Thanksgiving season. It's cranberry sauce. Now, it's yeah. kind of worked its way down. Yeah, yeah so if you take a look it's at really, it, it's yeah. kind of like broken down. It's nice and thick and, and really like rich and shiny. And so now we're going to add the other half of the cranberries into this sauce. And again, what I'm trying to do is, is get two different textures to really cook down and then sort of less cooked down so that you get crunchiness when you eat into the second batch of cranberries you put in. So we're gonna let these cook slowly and again, you'll start to hear them pop um, and then the sauce will start coming together. Okay, cool. Now can yeah. I ask, what, how come you can't just go all the cranberries? You can, you time? can. It's just that what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna have one dimension of texture. Mm -hmm. And so like when we cook, we're trying to think about layering flavor, layering texture. And so in this version, you're gonna have really cooked cranberries and a little bit less cooked cranberries. And so you get a little bit of that. But we're building the flavor. Okay, yeah, chef. Yeah. We got another Foodland 5 recipe over we here. We do. In addition we to do. the cranberry sauce, we got green bean casserole. I figured what the heck yeah. we're going to do aside. Well, so instead of doing the green bean casserole, mm -hmm. I thought we'd do a real a fast local thing, right? And so we've got, these are local green beans uh, from our friends at Alun Farms. And then I got some pipicala. Ooh. We got some Eva sweets, again, from our friends at Alun Farms. And then we're going to put uh, inamona, right? Mm -hmm. So this is roasted kukui nuts. And you can oh. get this from the seafood department. I don't know if you knew that. Just go to the seafood guys when you get your poke you say hey quarter pound and they'll give you this stuff here oh what yeah. wow yeah. okay that's a food line hack i didn't know yeah. that one and the, the okay. what i love about this is it's instead of doing like a different kind of a toasted nut or a walnut mm -hmm. or pecan or even sesame seeds this roasted flavor kind of has that sesame nice really nice rich meatiness in a nut so we'll put that on top of here all right okay. let's get to it what, so what again we we'll get some prep going and the first thing i'm going to do is I'll, cook, I'll show some of the green beans being cleaned these are already clean and they're blanched okay, okay? but you know instead of like people i've watched people and they're like oh one at a time and that's great if you want to do one at a time you watch tv whatever yeah but in it's the, the holidays, kitchen though we don't yeah, have time yeah for yeah, that. yeah yeah or yeah. in the kitchen like come on <laughs> so anyway what, what, what we like to do is we'll, we'll grab a bunch make sure that all the Faced in the same way, mm -hmm. right? And I'll just go ahead and cut down here. So I just did like 15 in one crack. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't have time to like make all of them ends the right way, we also do this in kitchens. I'll just grab a bunch and they'll be all different stems and tips and I'll just go and cut the top and the bottom so that way you have a very clean bean ready to get blanched. So that's Beautiful. a fast way to get done. Then we're gonna go ahead and we'll just cut some of this onion here. And um, this one I already peeled, just cut it in half. And so, you see the stem here. I'm gonna just cut a little bit of this stem piece out because I wanna julienne this. And I wanna go, you can see here, right? I wanna go with the grain yeah. versus against. And we'll just go real quick. I'm gonna go thin because I want these to kind of like caramelize down and I want them to um, kind of melt into this, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go with a half, uh, what the heck, I'll just do the whole onion. Yeah. Some serious chopping skills here in the kitchen today. Repetition, repetition, yeah. yeah. And you gotta have, it really helps to have a good sharp knife, always. Okay, so okay, we'll do so that. Okay, so we got the onions. Yeah. Um, okay, and, and then this is the pipicala. So in the, this is in the meat department too. So you just wanna look for a nice piece. This is a nice thin one. And I'm just gonna slice thin pieces because I'm trying to replicate. What I'm thinking about when I do this, right, is mm -hmm. so here's the, the slice of the onion. Here's a bean. And here's the here's the pipicala. I want size You're getting a little bit of everything, yeah. A, a little bit of everything, and I want the pieces to be relatively similar so that when it's time to eat this and you put it on the plate, you're not chomping into a huge piece of pipi cola and a tiny piece of green bean. Now one thing too is I like the long green beans like that. I didn't yeah. cut them, but if you if they look too long and you don't like them like that, you can go ahead and cut them down. Too. Gotcha. So now we're doing our prep work right yeah. now. And again, gang, courtesy of the Foodland 5, they have so many great recipes that are available on the website. We have the green beans and the cranberry sauce, but we wanna remind everybody at home as well, on the Foodland 5 website, Chef, everything is categorized, right? You can actually yeah. be looking for yeah. holidays or side dishes or yeah. beans. Yeah, different things, and, and we have, and, and the thing that we really love about it is, besides all of the categories, the, the local thing is really, really cool. So at Foodland, local company, we really love mm -hmm. local, all things local. And so you can really dig into and find local recipes, local like classic recipes, old school recipes, and 
sort of modern takes on local ideas and local flavors. And so I would say, like, this would be on the website, and it's going to be a sort of a, a local take on a classic dish for Thanksgiving. So really fun that way. All right, that's what we're excited about. We're celebrating the holidays local style yep. today on Foodland. So yep. we want to remind everybody out there, head to the website as well. We have a great giveaway that's taking place. It's going to be $250 to Foodland, and we're going to get a chance to try this cranberry sauce and green beans here in just a bit. But for now, Rachel, I'm going to send it down to you. I promise I'm going to save you some. <laughs> I promise.